Hey YouTube, it's me, Jen, your Pudgy Picker, here at my desk trying to get some work done. Didn't have a huge haul this Monday, but I wanted to do a video for you, of course. And I decided to drag the two bags upstairs. I have reusable bags that I take with me um, when I go thrifting and also when I go grocery shopping. The county that I live in, uh, in Cleveland, is going uh, no plastic bags. Uh, a lot of stores start at the beginning of the year, but the absolute you'll be char, you know, you'll get fined kind of thing a store will if it's using them is August. So trying to get myself into the habit of always having them in my car and always carrying them so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to show you this cute little bag I got. And inside I have the reusable bags I showed you folded up. So I always keep a couple of these in the car so I have them for groceries and other shopping. But that is besides the point. I want to show you what I got. I already had a little bit of time to start pricing these items for either my booth or to go uh, on eBay. So I will show you the original price and then show you what I priced them at. I know I do this once in a while and uh, some of you may enjoy that just to kind of get an idea of what my pricing is. So let's dive right in. So I did get two salt and pepper shakers. These were in a bag. Uh, this one was a dollar. So remember, mine are half price. Uh, these had a big sticky spot on them, so I had to clean them up with a little bit of the goo be gone. And they're kind of mid-century modern looking. Uh, I put $7 on them. Now I'll give you a hint, when you take things out that are in a set or in multiples, or it's a, you know, uh, you know like a set of four or whatever, uh, make sure that you put your vendor number and where it goes. So I have two of two, and then this one has the price. So if some reason these get separated and one comes up to the top uh, or the front, somebody will know where it goes. <laughs> Had that happen before. So uh, $7 on these. Very interesting, cool shape. They both have two dots. So I guess you just have to kind of shake them and decide which is salt and which is pepper. Don't have that problem with this set. It is these little speckled eggs that say salt and pepper. Aren't they adorable? Um, these were in a bag also for $2. And uh, again, I put uh, two, two of two and three of three and then eight bucks. So there's those aren't they cute now the name brand on these is Peyton and Parker I think I've heard that before uh, but not sure where these are from but I put eight bucks on those and they should do pretty good um, salt and pepper shakers recently have been doing much better in my space so I pick them up if I see them and they're unique um, I got this little bunny planter I left the price tag on just to show you, uh, 75 cents, and I already put a price sticker on it that says Lucky Bamboo, $10, so guess what's going to go in this? So this will be going out soon with my spring items. Um, I'm always looking for cute little containers. There is a little bit of, uh, I don't know, damage, or it's not 100%, but it is totally... Uh, you know, glazed in here, because otherwise they will leak. Said that from experience. But uh, I'll put a couple bamboo in there with some rocks, and that will go out to my space. Um, I did get a piece of fabric. Uh, it was, I don't know where my tag is now. It, oh, here it is. It was $1.99, so it was a dollar. There are three yards here, and this is how I get it ready and wrap it up with some cotton uh, yarn. So this will be $9. I do $3 a yard for fabric in my booth, and I just thought this tiny flowers were just so adorable. So that goes out to my booth. Um, this one was also a dollar. Mm, yep. Um, so I had to take it off, and then I cleaned this up, and then one of these sides was coming off. So I put a little dab of glue in there and glued it back and cleaned it up. And then on the top, I just put this piece of jute twine so that I can hang it up in my space. And I put $8 on it. And isn't that pretty? So 
I like to get the ones that are real. If they're just painted on, I don't get them because they get chipped away, but this is an actual real one somebody put together. Beautiful spring flower, so that will go out soon. Um, I did get a bag of cards, and these were only $1. There's a whole bunch of cute ones in here. Um, a couple that I can send to my sister. So uh, you can usually find greeting cards, thank you cards, uh, post uh, postcards, any kind of cards you're looking for, much cheaper at the thrift store. And a dollar for all of these, they literally end up being like a nickel or seven cents. So I'll put those in my stash. I thought this was kind of interesting. This is the box that came in. Uh, Love Leah or Love Lee. Uh, and it is an artist. Uh, this was $2.50. I'll show you what was in it. So it's a little stand with a clock, and it has this clip so you can put a picture, a note. Um, I already hit, went ahead and put a battery in there and listened to it. It is working, um, and I put $6 on it. I could have probably put a little bit more. It's keeping pretty accurate time. I set it about an hour ago and it's right where it should be. So that will go out to my booth. And what I'll do is I'm gonna put it face down in this box so that nothing gets bent up when I'm taking it out. Um, I did buy a couple of items for myself. The first one for $2 was this candle. Seed, it is a soy candle. A uh, hot apple cider. I wouldn't normally pick that scent, but it does smell really good. Mmm. Take a sniff. It smells like fall, so I will burn this when I get a chance. I love candles. Uh, two other things I got uh, for me and Mr. Pudgy Picker. We've been doing puzzles. Uh, this is the time of year to do them. No garage sale season and it uh, gets dark early. So I got this one. It is Bo uh, Noel. Newell, uh, Animal Encounters, it is, that was my computer, <laughs> this is a picture of uh, animals and they're coming out of the picture onto this table, isn't that cool? So this one's 750 pieces, it is taped, closed, there's a whole bunch that weren't taped and that makes me a little nervous, uh, this one says I'll take two, it's a thousand piece puzzle, this old fashioned like country store, now this lid was not taped on but I opened it so, and I just uh, let's drop the box they were in a bag so I feel a little bit better about that um, the animal puzzle was $1.50 and the store puzzle was $2 puzzles aren't cheap so I was happy to get these so those will go downstairs um, onto my table. Let's see. I got this little lamp. Realized it was missing a whole bunch of the beads. So I took all the beads off and I'm going to just buy some cheapy beads to string on here. Uh, this is the shade, of course. And this was $2.50. Nice heavy base on it. So uh, probably get a little bit maybe even just a uh, one of those electric or battery operated candles I get them all the time so I'll put that in there and whip something together I was a little disappointed but when you get something and you're excited to get it you have to take a minute and look at it to make sure that you're not missing anything or it's not missing anything so I ended up making a bigger project for myself but yeah it is what it is um, I did find this box of stationery. It was $1.50. Um, it doesn't appear that it's ever been used. So I counted there are 28 papers and 14 envelopes. So that's about right. So I will put this on eBay probably, I don't know, maybe $12.99 I'm guessing. Let's see. Last two items. I thought this was so cute. This was only $2. I have put $14 on it. And it says, God bless our mortgaged home. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So someone did that cross stitch. Very cute and adorable. So that will go in my booth. 
This one was a Hobby Lobby. I ended up taking the, the original. No, it's stamped right on there. Hobby Lobby. This was only $2.50. And it says bath times. So that would be cute in a spare or guest bathroom. Um, I put $12 on it. Pretty big size. So again, this will go out to my booth. So I believe that is all that I got. Not a lot. Oh, I got a couple shirts. Don't want to forget those. But I didn't get that much. Um, if any of these shirts are of interest to you, shoot me a message and I'll let you know if they're listed on my eBay store already. Um, I think I only got three shirts today. I usually don't get real dressy shirts, but this one just was kind of cool to me. Uh, this one was four and a quarter. It is a Jones, New York. It is a size 3X. It's kind of a silky shirt, like a, like a dress or business shirt. Long sleeves. And do you see what's on there? <laughs> Little penguins on a pink background. I just thought that was adorable. So that will go on my eBay store. This one is a woman within. It was $3.75. It is a size 4X. And it's kind of this crinkle cotton. See the bottom is kind of like this hanky hem. Uh, three quarter sleeves. Very cute. It's got this button down with these shell buttons. Thought that was very adorable. It's like in a I don't know, like a dusty purple. It looks a little brighter on camera than it is in real life, but so there's that one. Now I wash all of my used clothes before I sell them. Um, unless they're new with tags, then I, I usually don't mess with them. Um, this one is like a teal color. It is a Catherine's. Uh, it is a 3X. It was four and a quarter. And it's just one of those basic ones. It's got these uh, little metal beads on them, and it is a three-quarter sleeve. So just a basic standard shirt. Really pretty. So that is all the shirts that I got and everything else that I got. So I kept uh, two puzzles in the soy candle, and that is all that I got. I'm looking around because I always end up forgetting something. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Cl click the notification bell so you know when I upload. Be the first. Don't get left out. <laughs> so I guess I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.